When the sun is going down in your soul The darkness that surrounds Taking you deep, deeper into the ground You can raise your broken way Music came into my life in a strong way around 12, 13. I was very much into the grunge movement being born in that kind of 77. Bands like Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, the entire grunge movement. But my stepfather at the time, um, he also would, was teaching me a little bit of guitar and he was very much based in 60s and 70s. So there was Zappa and Beatles and Zeppelin, Cat Stevens and Lennon. And the obsession to create music started then. From the first CD that arrived in my house, I had a dream. One day I will put a CD in a CD player and it will be my band, my rock band. <laughs> By the feet of defeat and the waiter, fear pouring down from the rain and the blackest clouds. You can raise yourself from the ground. So I was in a band for quite a number of years. We made a fair amount of success in Australia in that area, in very unique existence. Um, released a few EPs and recently we'd finished a large album. And that music for me was very much about positivity, very much about giving energy, about wanting to express messages in a way. And the rock industry was okay for that, but it wasn't necessarily the path. We are here, here to love. And then my brother had, a, had a, an accident and I found myself singing in a hospital with him and a bit of a whirlwind journey, but um, it gave birth to a program that I, ran, I then ran for another five or six years called Awareness Shows in schools. Good thoughts, only the good thoughts in my mind all of the time. So now it was not just about the expression of the songs and playing on the radio and video clips and being a rock star, it was now communicating very intimately the messages through the music to teenagers in high schools. So this, for, as an artist, it really tested me and it really made me question, what is music? Why do I play music? What do I want to do with music? That was my next evolution in music and as an artist. In this melody, so That's why I have music changes people, people change the world, because it physically happened to me over and over again, physically, emotionally, spiritually, watching transformations, actual transformations, and following up on those. Then come forward and, and I meet my, my, my now wife, who's, who's Brazilian. That brings a story into my life of, of the other side of the world, literally. She comes into my life again with a song eventually <laughs> um, called Soi Lua. Because the first time that we were married, we were married spontaneously during a solar eclipse. We married again in Brazil and I recorded that song secretly here with Prada and simultaneously so that I could tell her what I was doing without her knowing I recorded one other song the pretend song <laughs> like, what are you doing there all the time I'm recording this song which now becomes uplift the first track on the record
bom. Bom momento de ação, fez isso. Muito tranquilo. Richie conheci através de um amigo, o Ledson, que a gente produziu duas faixas para ele tocar nesse casamento de surpresa para ela. Foi legal isso, ele é um cara massa. E agora ele decidiu voltar aqui para o Brasil e eu ajudar ele com essa produção desse disco dele, do Sonhador. Touchdown, hardly ever in touch now. And I remember when I first met Prado, I was like, man, this guy's got nearly maybe the same amount of energy as me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, there's Tati. Hey, Tati. Hey. That's, that's his uh, wife. And straight away I thought, wow, this is going to be cool. I couldn't speak Portuguese. Eu falo nada, só um palavra português, verdade. And we were working alone, so we didn't have a translator. And I was often in another room, in the dark, with headphones and a microphone on. Yet we just had this connection. He just knew all the things that I liked and the way that I liked to do things, and we started building these songs. A gente fez, quis fazer uma gravação viva. É, gravando em afinações diferentes, afinações 4-3-2, gravando sem clique, ao vivo, todo mundo tocando na sala, dá a impressão que está na, na, na sala da sua casa, assim, pegando os, os bichos, é, chuva, o que estiver acontecendo no ambiente no momento, e até escolhendo algumas músicas para alguns horários. A gente tentou pegar esses climas do, do Brasil, mas com uma sutileza mais na, na, na tocada de cada músico, um pouco da Bahia, um pouco do, de cada região que ele passou pelo Brasil, né? I remember with the band, you have those moments in the studio where you sit back and listen to your own song and you get the chills. And you, then you go, oh, okay, uh, something's happening here. There's something going on. Tem um jeito de britânico de fazer música, sabe? Então eu acho que o Prado é a pessoa certa porque ele vai subverter e subverteu nesse trabalho do hit. A gente ouve muito música britânica, o mundo ouve, mas eu acho que essa fusão é interessante. O show do Rich ele não vai ser só um show, ele vai ser um espetáculo mesmo, entendeu? Um espetáculo assim, multissensorial, um design de experiências, de despertar sentidos e sensações e emoções através da arte, que é para elevar a consciência, é um show para despertar, ter uma conexão assim de mente, corpo e espírito. Conforme ele foi tocando, a minha sensação era de liberdade, muita inspirador. Acho que é a palavra. Por várias vezes senti arrepios, porque a música transmitia isso, a energia que tinha no palco. Eleva a nossa alma, mas é muito gostoso. And I'm really, yeah, I'm really happy. <laughs> And I hope people, oh yeah, And I hope people like it, you know, that, that would be good too. <laughs> Come on home.